There have been a number of RPG themed crate subscriptions that have popped up over the last couple years and I just got my hands on one that I think is pretty cool. This is the Realmsmith Encounter Crate. This one is available in one-off purchase or you can get it at a discount if you are a monthly subscriber to these encounter crates. So uh, let's break it open and take a look. So I do just want to take a moment to say that this is not a paid promotional video. I am not being paid to make this video, but I did get this encounter crate free of charge and I want to thank Jason very much for sending it my way. And now the Realmsmith encounter crate. So it ships in this box and uh, there's no other shipping material around it or anything. It just ships right in this. So that's kind of nice, probably saves cost for them. You can see that it was sealed right here. This is not my first unboxing. I did open this thing when I first got it about a month ago and I've been getting so much stuff that it's been hard to, uh, hard to get it done. But here we are, we're gonna take a look at last. Sorry for the long wait on this one, Jason. Uh, this packaging here keeps everything nice and safe. Look at this, a sealed letter, personalized, handwritten to me. And uh, that is actually a wax seal. So that's really cool. I thought that was a great little touch. And um, we can open it up here and you can see some nice words. Nate, I wanted to personally thank you for coming alongside us in this crazy adventure we've embarked on, et cetera, et cetera. A little description of what's included there as well as some of the benefits of joining the realm, which are not just the things in this box. So let's get to the contents of the box then we can talk about some of those other things too. Here we have a WizKids Nalzer's Marvelous Miniature Troll. These are pre-primed with uh, Vallejo and uh, they're really nice miniatures. I like them a lot. Here we have a Sirenscape uh, Icy Wasteland sound set. In case you're not familiar with Sirenscape, it is just an absolutely huge library of sound effects and songs for tabletop RPGs. So you can see this one has some presets. Uh, we can go through here and it'll crank up certain sounds for you and you can also add your own as you see fit. We'll add the cold piano. Get a feel for that. Now let's add some sitar flurries. Turn that off, kind of fade stuff in and out. And let's add some footsteps in the snow. You've also got some of these sound effects here. So anyway, I definitely recommend you check out Sirenscape. Uh, it's got a couple of free sets here and it's got a lot of them that you can pay for. I think this one probably would have been about uh, $7 or so for the um, IC Soundscape. But continuing on with the unboxing. Here we have something else. This one I actually didn't open yet. But I have a feeling this is what is making the package smell so good here. Open this up, a little rope wrapped around paper. And inside, yes, as I suspected, Stone Moss Chapel. So this is a scented candle from Cantrip Candles, who makes RPG themed scents for your tabletop. And uh, this one smells really, really good. I don't know about any mossy chapel. It just smells really good. Then you've got all this uh, packing stuff here, which is not my favorite method of packing, but uh, I imagine it's quite functional and it, it kind of looks nice. The Mad Troll Encounter from Absolute Tabletop. So this is from Oath of the Frozen King. It is one of the encounters. Yeah, it's a good one. It's really cool. I've run this before. I own the, the full book. There's also a little code for a 50% discount at the bottom that I'm covering up here because I imagine that's not for general audiences, but rather for uh, someone who has actually purchased this encounter crate. And yeah, Mad Troll on the back, you've got set dressing, instant hazards, common loot. Now this is just an encounter. Uh, this would not be probably enough for a full uh, adventure, like a full night of gaming. You know, it could be like the boss fight of a night or something like that, I think. And certainly would give you some inspiration with th some of the uh, set dressing and hazards and stuff for uh, other parts of that encounter, other parts of that adventure. Uh, I love Oath of the Frozen King, uh, so I'm really 
Glad they were able to partner with them and get part of that in this box. All right, and the last thing we have in the box here is a whole bunch of paper, cardstock actually. Um, this is a paper craft kind of terrain type set here. Um, and it involves building some things and, and putting them together. So I think I'm actually gonna try to do that. And I don't know if I'll finish it completely in the time that I have right now, but um, I'm gonna try to build it and uh, then we'll take a look. This is from Fat Dragon Games. And uh, it looks like a lot of pages here. I don't know, it's probably about 20 pages at least. Um, so let's take a look at how that turns out. All right, so here we have the papercraft terrain and you can see it's all all made now. Took me about two hours to make all this. So it has these floor tiles or ground tiles, I guess. And then it also has two bits of ruins. Uh, one of the reasons it took me a while, well, I guess one of the things that was a minor delay was um, these snowy pieces here are actually different in the instructions. The instructions you have to look up online. You actually, they actually give you a link and you can go and download the um, drive through RPG file. So you can print another one of your own if you want to. And it has the instructions and a guide for uh, and general tips for putting these together. Uh, so that is helpful, but it did not have the snowy floors. But that's because this is a, you know, snowy, frozen troll-based encounter. So that's why uh, they do give you some snowy options here, which is cool. Uh, and overall, it looks really nice. Uh, it's, it's very, this mini right here is heavy. It's got a big old washer on the bottom, and it fits this thing just fine and holds it up, supports it. Um, a lot of gluing. Uh, a lot of cutting and uh, some bobby pins actually holding this together. That was part of the instructions and it actually works uh, pretty well. So this is all really good stuff, but one big question remains and that is how much will you be looking at paying for all of this? Uh, it seems that this crate was likely one of the $50 crates. It's hard to tell because it's not for sale anymore. Uh, actually, the monthly one they have now at the $50 price range is an owlbear crate, which is really cool. It comes with a new owlbear miniature, uh, an owlbear encounter, some uh, papercraft terrain, sirenscape again, and I believe it comes with a candle. It says a, a special little other thing, a surprise gift, and I, I bet it's one of these little candles. So this one, again, I believe was $50. You're looking at $100 for some of the bigger ones. And there's also the option to get a Vallejo pack of paints and brushes added on for $30. And that actually seems like a better value than this. Because when I add all this up, I'm having a hard time actually getting to $50. But I guess there is that added convenience of having it all delivered and kind of curated and brought to your house ready to go. You do have to spend some time, of course, building your paper craft, probably a couple hours on that, and a couple hours painting your miniature. But you do have a nice set of things that can really enhance your game night. And uh, I think it's, it's all really high quality stuff. I'm really happy with the variety of products that they've got kind of all converging into one really cool package. One thing that I should also mention is that in addition to the physical goods you see here, you also get that PDF for the paper craft and you get membership, free membership in the realm. This is Realmsmith after all. And membership in the realm gives you the ability to, uh, I think, vote on certain things in their live stream D&D games that Realmsmith does. You get early access to certain videos. You get certain exclusive videos, including live painting tutorials, which is really cool. And I think there's some other stuff too. So anyway, you can go check all that out at realmsmith.tv. And I do highly recommend you go check it out if it sounds interesting to you. I want to thank Jason from Realmsmith once again for sending this stuff my way. It's a really cool package and I appreciate it. And thank you all for joining me for this video. If you have any comments, questions, leave those down below. I always love to hear from you. Everybody take care. Happy gaming. You'll see me again very soon.